In the division, you can craft all of your items, from gear to weapons. Welcome to our crafting guide. To start it off, crafting in the division is nothing special if you played any other game that has any sort of crafting in it. You collect materials, and those can be used to make gear pieces. The interesting part is that they roll with random stats. Random within their limits, that is. This makes that at some point you want those high-end pieces to be perfect. This seems really hard, but if you dedicate yourself to it, this might be the most guaranteed way to get a perfect roll. Granted, you invest time into gathering and crafting, of course. Note that crafting isn't very interesting until you've last world tier, because it's a high cost for what you get time-wise and material-wise. With the credits you could have earned instead by selling the pieces, you can do a lot more. However, this doesn't guarantee a perfect roll. Since most builds have two high-end pieces, and the blueprints tend to rotate in one of the hub's Phoenix credit shops, <clears throat> this makes good blueprints decently easy to come by, but you have to keep an eye out for the right ones. Once you've reached World Tier 5, the Phoenix credits shouldn't be much of a problem. If you do have a problem with gathering these, we made a video on gathering Phoenix credits for those of you who are in need of that. The link will be down in the description. Now for the question, how do I farm parts the most efficient? We tend to think this is the dark zone, since you are farming loot which can all be destructed and you gather division tech which can be transformed into different parts to your desire. And the four options are scavenging in the light zone, deconstructing items, division tech and buying caches or items and deconstructing those. For the first option, which was the scavenging in the light zone, you probably know that you can scavenge parts in stores and parking lots. Your scavenging stat affects how many and what quality of parts you get. I gave myself one hour to gather as many parts as I could and I gathered 316 parts in total, which is decent but very boring. The second option is deconstructing, which is probably a lot more fun to do. For deconstructing you need to know that all the high-end gear pieces give one piece. Of high end. All the armor pieces give fabric, the weapons give one give a weapon part, the attachments give tools, and the mods give electronics. Note that the gear piece items give you double that, so two fabric for for example an alpha bridge chest. The speed of how efficient deconstructing is depends on how quick you do your missions or whatever it is you're doing to get items. So it's hard to give it a number, but from my own test of doing some of the daily missions, I managed to get about 110 materials in an hour. This is a lot less than scavenging, but for sure it's a lot more fun. The third option is collecting division tech in the dark zone. This strategy is actually a combination of clearing the dark zone overall, which comes down to scavenging and deconstructing as well. Depending on whether you're in a four-man party or not, you can gather a lot of division tech in a short amount of time. This is because you can get division tech in the dark zone from walking around, killing enemies, and even from sealed caches. Note that three division tech is equal to one part of choice. The high-end sealed caches in the dark zone can give two to five division tech, and the gear set sealed caches can give up to eight division tech. With a four-man squad, I average on an extraction every 15 minutes, filling up my stash in about 45 minutes. Then I tend to take 5 to 10 minutes to empty my stash and start over. Crunching the numbers, coming down to about 30 items an hour plus the division tech. Coming down to about 40 parts for deconstructing and about 45 division tech from sealed caches and 20 just from gathering. This comes down to about 60 parts an hour, not considering the underground events and supply drops, since these, are, since these items are transferred straight into your inventory. If you do pick these up, the efficiency goes up by quite a bit. The conclusion is that I get around 70 parts an hour from the dark zone. However, the division tech makes up for the parts I lack compared to the other strategies, since you can pick whatever part you need. And usually you get a lot of parts that you won't be using at the time. So it's good to have specific parts. And then for the fourth option, which is kind of a bonus option because it's not really a strategy, but you can buy items from any store 
and then deconstruct those. This works best for electronics and tools, since attachments and mods tend to be cheaper than, for example, sealed caches, which makes it a much more insuring strategy, and it comes down to about 7 parts per 1 million credits. Another thing to note is that you, the, the maximum capacity for each part is 999. To conclude, scavenging is by far the most efficient way to get most materials, but we think the dark zone is probably the best place, even though the materials hour is one of the slowest one. In my opinion, tactically it is still the best one, just because you can use the division tech to make more parts, and the specific ones you need, because you can neglect about 50% of the parts you gather because you're not going to be using weapon parts if you're crafting your gunslinger vest. And Division Tech avoids this problem. Don't forget that you can recalibrate when crafting. So if you're crafting and you get one perfect stat, take a look at the rest and see how much things are off because some of the things can be re-rolled and then all of a sudden you get a near perfect item. That's what I tend to look for, is at least one perfect roll or something in, the, in that direction. If I get a really good stat roll, um, I tend to look at my attributes and look for for flaws there and I tend to ignore most of the armor rolls since the health is the meta right now the stat roll is probably the one I want to reroll most of the time so look at for perfect or near perfect attributes and talent of course the talent has to be right for example your item can be something with a bad electronics roll but with the right major and minor attributes and good armor and the right talent with such an item, you can re-roll the electronics till it's awesome. And then you just got yourself a perfect or near perfect item. For this, you want to know what rolls on what item and what capacity. So for that, check out our gear stat rolls video that we've linked in the description as well. Ugh, the recalibration sounds easy, but this can of course be hard since it might take a lot of rolls. Our advice comes down to Keeping an eye on good rolls on all parts of the item, since a recalibration can make a decent craft an amazing item. We hope that this video was helpful in any way for those of you who are trying to mid-max their build. If you did think this video was helpful, please leave a rating. It really helps us out and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or if you want things cleared up. I hope to see you guys next time.